Alright then guys, today we're going to be uh, making a video all about recording me saying the B-movie script. <clears throat> As you guys can see up here inside of the top right corner, I have the B-movie script just right here. So, let us get going. <clears throat> B-movie script. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyways, because bees do not care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello? Barry? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All B's. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got a little lint on your fuzz. Ow. That's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you. Stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little. Special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Artie's growing a mustache. Looks good. You're about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows you sting someone you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this. Incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are. B men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees. Please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome New Hive City graduates, class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Hunnix Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your heads and antennas in the tram at all times. What will it be like? A little scary. Welcome to Hunex, a division of Honesco, and a part of the Hexagon group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins with our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into this soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as honey. That girl's hot. She's my cousin. She is? Yeah, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Honex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Chromin. What does it do? Catches that last strain of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Can anyone work on the Chromin? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones. But bees know that, if, that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully. You'll stay in your job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you just work us to death? We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever, that's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved, now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. That is the most logic that this entire movie has ever had. We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. Do you ever think things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, are those are pollen jocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside of the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey jocks, hi jocks, you guys did great, you're monsters, you're sky freaks, I love it, I love it. I wonder where they were, I don't know, 
their days not planned, outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock, you gotta be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it, and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies? Aren't they our cousins, too? Distant, distant. Look at these two. Couple of hive hairies. Let's have fun with them. Must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had a paw in my throat, and with the other he was slapping me. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you during? What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry, a puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going 0900 at J-Gate. What do you think, buzzy boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends what 0900 means. Hey, Hun X. Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you something about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around. You stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Jen, hey, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're gonna be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait till you get wait till you see the sticks I have. I can say anything right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey to celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antennas. Shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth, and call everyone dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt bee, pouring stirrer, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on. Two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What'd you get? Picking the crud out. Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh my. Oh, what's available? Restroom attendants open. Not for the reason you'd think. Any chance of getting on the Krellman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry, the Krellman just closed out. Wax Monkey's always open. The Krellman just opened again. What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another one dead. Dead. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Well, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stumpy, porter, stirrer, humming, inspector number seven, lint coordinator, stripe supervisor, mite wrangler, berry. What do you think I should berry? Berry. All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quad quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. Oh, no. I have to. Before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd. That gets the roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't the kid we saw yesterday? Hold on. Son, flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here. Here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. As you all know, bees cannot fly in rain, so be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it, babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And as a reminder for you rookies, be law number one, absolutely no talking to humans. Alright, launch positions, buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Wind? Ch check. Antenna? Check. Nectar pack? Check. Wings? Check. 
Stinger, check. Scared out of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow, flowers. This is blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold on. Roses. 30 degrees, Roger. Bring it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see a pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over there, maybe a dash over there. Venture on that one. See that? A little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen flower. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could it be could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, you're reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little bit, It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy worms, get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You're starting to pack. You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yowser. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Wow. The tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in the rain, can't fly in the rain, can't fly in the rain. Mayday, mayday, be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Like the SpongeBob meme. Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold out brochure. You see? Folds out. Oh no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. This. Drapes. That is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills. Even my top ten favorite movies. What's your number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their mind. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B. Stand back. These are winter boots. Timberlands, LMAO. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have any less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. Here you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special special skill. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night? Sure, Ken. You know, whatever. You could put carb chips on there. Bye. It's supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Alright, here it goes. Nah, what would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's B law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no. Do it. Do it. How would I start it? You like jazz. No, that's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi. I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I'm fine. I know I'm dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. Well, this is, I'm, well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am. I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were all trying to kill me, and if it wasn't for you, I just had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. 
that was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee, and the bee is talking to me. I just want to see how grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, Honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry for what we'd have to deal with. Anyway, Jesus, that got dark. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. Mean, I don't know, coffee? I don't want to put you out. It's, it's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple of micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Pfft, that's bad. Are you alright? No. He's making the tie up in the cab as they're flying up to Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church and the wedding's on. And he says, Watermelon? I thought you said Guatemalan. Why would I marry a why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's yeah, the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you gonna do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents want to be be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really. My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyways, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? You're in Cheap Meadow. Yeah, I'm right off Turtle Pond. No way, I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You alright, ma'am? Oh yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this is great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up to the I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you? Can I take a piece of this with me? Oh, sure. Have, here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, then I guess I'll see you around, or not. Okay, Barry. Thank you so much again for before. Oh, that that was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway, this can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy, giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try to kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How do you get back, Poodle? You did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience, now you can pick your job and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did? Was she beeish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hottest thing with the eight legs and all. I just can't get by that face. Who is she? She's human. No, that... That's a B-Law. You shouldn't break B-Law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh boy, she's so nice, and she's a florist. Oh no, you're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying outside of the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes. With power washers and M-80s. One-eighth a, one a stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not a... What was that? They call it a crumb. It's so stinging stripey. That's not... And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what a Cinnabon is? No. It's bread and frost... It's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not like them. We're us. They're, there's us and there's them. Yeah, but who can deny that the heart is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. 
You've got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? You gotta start thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you like to talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything? All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa, we're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I hope she's B-ish. Oh, God. I just... They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasenda? Pasadena? Pasadena. To be in the Tournament of Roses, that's every florist's dream. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering, a tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No. Alright, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see. Alright, your turn. TiVo, you can just freeze live TV? That's insane. You don't have that? We have HiVo, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my, dumb bees. You, just, you must want to just sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So, so you have to watch your temper. Very carefully, you kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. Work through it like in any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What's wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that, a pick and save circular? Yeah, it was. How'd you know? I felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I lost a bet to... I lost a cousin to an Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What in the name of Mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? QB, Golden Blossom, Ray... Leota? Leota? Ray Leota, Private Select? Is he an actor? I never heard of him. Why is he? Why is this here? For people. We eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it. And it's hard to make. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's our organic. It's just honey, Barry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector, you almost done? Almost. He's here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard something, so you can talk. I can talk, and now you'll start talking. Where do you get the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing I want we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed with the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana in Ignacio. Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey Farms. It comes from Honey Farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened there? These faces, they never knew what hit them. And now, they're on the road to nowhere. Just kept still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? Honey Farms. I'm on to something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. Alright. Uh-oh. What's that? Oh no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade. Jump on. It's your only chance. B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? Why do you people... Why do you people need... How much do people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Cassell. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose Blood Guy. 
You hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, blood. Throw honey jars, as far as the eye can see. Wow. I assume whenever, whenever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey's ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a closed community. Not us, man. We on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito. You in trouble. Nobody likes. They just, they just smack. See, mosquito, smack, smack. At least you are out in the world. You must meet girls, mosquito girls, trying to trade up. Get a moth, a dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Moose blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, Moose blood. I knew I'd catch up with all y'all down here. You bring your crazy straw. We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and that's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? Bee's got a brain, size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Pinhead. Check out this sweet new smoker. Oh sweet, that's one you want. The Thomas 3000. Smoker. 90 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine. All the tar. Couple of breaths of this knocks them right out. We make the honey and we make the money. They make the honey and we make the money? Oh my, what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. You know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen w was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? This is a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Be honey. Our honey has been brazenly stole stolen on a massive scale. This is much worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. That's a computer conspiracy theory. They're obviously doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in all this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend and they make out. Make out? Barry, we do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I did a quick at once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life? I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked, your hands were still stirring and you couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to have our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. If it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. The face, the eye, that would hurt. No. Up the nose, that's a killer. There's one place you can sing the humans, one place where it really matters. Hive at five, the hive's only full hour action news source. No more bee beards, with Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Weather with Storm Stinger and sports with Buzz Larvae. And Chetty and Jeanette, Jeanette Chung. Goodness. Good evening, I'm Bob Bumble, and I'm Jeanette Chung. A Tri-County Bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on Barry Lee King, we'll have three former queens in here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we'll be talking to Barry B. Benson. You ever think, I'm a kid from the hive. I can't do this. Please never be afraid to change the world. What about B. Columbus, B. Gandhi, B. Jesus? <laughs> I like that one. Where I come from, where I'm from, we'd never see humans. We were thinking of stick ball or candy stores. How old are you? The B community supporting you in this case. Which will be the trial of B. Century. You know they have a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name. Next week, it looks like you... Looks like you... He looks like you and has a show in suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses. Quotes on the bottom from the guest, even though you just heard him. Bear week next week. 
You're scary, hairy, and here to live. Always lean forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size 10 and a half. Vibram Soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye-bye. Why is no? Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You've been at this for hours. Yeah, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting. How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. Oh, goodness. So why are you helping me? These have good qualities. And it, takes, and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon banquets now. Those are great if you're three. And the artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Bent stingers, pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that has that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. <laughs> you sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're halfway. I'm take a small little just intermission. Just rub my eyes. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> it's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan, the where the world anxiously waits, because for the first time in history. We will hear ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think billion dollar multi multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What is your bear? Hello. Yeah. Well if it isn't the B team. You boys work on this? All right, the Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right, case number 4475, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the Honey Industry, is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively. A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees of the world. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor. We're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery. Oh, yeah. Mr. Vincent, you're representing all the bees in the world. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm. She believed it was a man's divine right to, prevent, to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we live in a topsy-turvy world, Mr. Benson, imagine. <sighs> Just imagine what it would mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworms for the elastic in my britches. Talking B, how do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism. Cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson? Ladies and gentlemen, there's no trick here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. We protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us. Because we're the little guys. I hope that after this is 
all this is over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish he'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus Vander Hayden of Honey Farms. Big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burton and Hunna and Hunron. Yes. They provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper. I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No. I couldn't hear you. No. No. Because you don't free bees. You keep bees. Not only that, it seems that you thought a bear would be appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Fozzy Bear, Build a Bear. You mean like this? And then a bear comes in the scene. Bears kill bees. How'd you think... How'd you like his head crashing through your living room? Biting on your couch. Spitting out your throw pillows. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was in a band called The Police. But you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human. For nothing more than prance about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? That's not his real name. You idiots. Mr. Lyota, first... Belated congratulations on your on your Emmy win for a guest spot in the ER on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see that from your resume that you're devilishly handsome with a churning with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet, it isn't. But is this? What it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn the lines, sir? Watch it, Benson. I can blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone just step on this creep and we can all go home? Order in this court. You're all thinking it. Order, order, I say. Say it, Mr. Leota. Please sit down. I think it was an awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. We didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I don't want this to go to work. Wait, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left I could heat up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis, tennis player. Not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume. He agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know it. I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common, do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs taking out, like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow you your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know. I've just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue, Mamma Mia. That's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Vaughn said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug, not taking those sides. Can I bring a chapstick 
hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, well, well. A royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? Surface up, dude. Poo water. That bull is gnarly. Except for the dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't need it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. He happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Oh, damn. Fine. Talking bees. No yogurt night. My nerves are fried for my of this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I know, it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. Couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry B. Benson... Mr. Barry Benson B. to the stand. Good idea. You can really see he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Leighton, we've got... Leighton, you've got to wave some magic. Was this jury or it's going to be all over? Don't worry. The only thing I have to do is turn this jury around. Is to remind them what they don't like about bees. You have the tweezers. Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B., I'll ask you what I think you'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship with that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little... Bad bug? I've seen a bee documentary or two, and from what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but... So those aren't even your real parents. Oh, Barry, yes they are. Hold me back. You're a legitimate bee, aren't you, Miss... Aren't you, Benson? <laughs> He's denouncing bees. Don't yell date your cousins. Objection. I'm just... Gonna pin cushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I'm hit. Order, order. The venom, the venom is coursing through my veins. I've been felled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What an angel of mercy will come forward and suck the poison from my heaving buttocks. I will have order in this court. Order. Order, please. The case of honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when their legal team stung Leighton T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey, is there much pain? Yeah, I, I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They've got her from the cafeteria downstairs and a tuna sandwich. Look. There's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline and then an ecstasy. Alright. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're a couple of bugs in this world. What, did, what will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh, my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is. It's not over. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. <clears throat> get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready... For the tub. Mr. Flamen? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trying to fly haphazardly. As a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about, Your Honor. Having these ridiculous bugs taking up enough time of this court's valuable time. <coughs> <clears throat> How much longer will we allow these absurd, shenan absurd, 
absurd shenanigans to go on. They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients, who run legitimate business. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flayman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's notice, motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where's your proof? Where's the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What is this? A harmless little contraption that couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened. To bees who have never been asked, smoking or not? Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to smoke machines? A man-made wooden slat work camps. Living our lives as honey slaves to the white man. What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free these bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. Do you know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy provision, perversion of balance in nature, Benson. Oh, you'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, what? Are, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living in bee way for a long time. 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. All you demand is a settlement. First, we'll demand complete shutdown of all bee work camps. And then we want back the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. It'll have nausea. Nausea. For a few hours, he'll be fine. I will no longer have to tolerate B negative nicknames. But it's just a prance about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion about honey and bogus health product products. And la di da human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring them, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzwell, we passed three cups, and there's gallons coming in. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Can't ball. We're shutting down honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh, yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? They're home. They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your Uncle Carl is on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think. So what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I'm excited to be a part of making it. This is my new desk. This was really my job. I in. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be so, would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. What's happening here? That is not the half of it. Oh no, oh my. They're all wilting. This doesn't look good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I don't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. Not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That's our whole SAT test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How will we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. And that'll just... That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. 
Sorry, I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena. They have moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant for it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses. 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 Vanessa. Roses. Barry. Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers. Bees. Pollen. I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry. Okay, I've made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. It's all my fault. Yes, kind of is. I ruined the planet. I wanted to help you. What's a flower shop? I made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought you maybe you were remodeling. But I have another idea. It's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right. They'll have the roses. The roses have pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here. And that's what we've got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation. Tournament of Roses. Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats of cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FI... FTD, official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we'll pick the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? What about you? What are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea goes under the mattress. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with traffic, without arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no one stopping us. Stop security. You and your insects packed your float. Yes. Has it been in your position the entire time? Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger. It's part of me. I know you're having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I've got to get them up there. Talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with the Scumble magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. Would you say how? Nothing. B, don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B please report to the cockpit? And please hurry. What happened here? There was a dirt duster, a toupee, a life raft exploded. One's bald, one's in a boat, and they're both unconscious. Is that another bee joke? No. No one's flying the plane. This is the JFK Control Tower Fight. Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a force from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious. So is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? P. Benson from the Honey Trail. Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't jo John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry, we're heading to some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late-breaking news from JFK Airport. Where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. <coughs> That's Barry. Is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? 
We have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Wait a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no-account comrade, Compradays. Screw it. They've done enough damage, but isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass make no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. This may be... The way we work may be in this 3 you. Making honey takes a lot of bees, doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realize to us, to everyone. That's why I'm going to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow, black and yellow. Hello! Left, right, down, hover, hover, forget hover. <clears throat> this isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? I think we were on autopilot the whole time. And that may not... That may have been helping me. And now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move out. Move out. Our only chance is if I... Is if I do what I do, you cock me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's rare to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on. It's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, you got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello? Alright, let's drop this tank can on the blacktop. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on, you gotta think B, Barry. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. A strong... It's strong. Pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. What in the world is going... What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Out of the engines. We're going in, boys, on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Land on that flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower. That other one. Which one? The flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower. Made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. Rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I a cuckoo ka or is this plane flying on an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No. High five. Right. Barry, it worked. Do you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you, but we're not done yet. Listen, everyone, the runway is covered with the last pollen. From the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. This means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees, keychains. Then follow me, except keychains. Hold on, Barry here. You've earned this. Yeah, I'm a pollen jock, and it's perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh yeah, that's our Barry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody calls, if anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your chair. Here's your change. Who's? Have a great afternoon. Can I help? Who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It's bee approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese, it's all me. And I don't see a nickel. It's a cow. 
Sometimes I just feel I'm like I'm a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I got, I got this huge tulip order and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. Your life's here, Barry. Can I help who's next? Right. Scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee's lived my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly, sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You've got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Me? Hold it. Just stop for a second. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Everyone, can we stop here? I'm not, I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. Alright, take ten, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. I had virtually no rehearsal for that. And that was the B movie. I hope you enjoyed.